welcome back to Just Me, Caitlin, and in today's video, I have some yarn and a whole thing of knitting needles, and I'm going to be teaching you how to, like, for a beginner, how to start knitting. So, I've been knitting for, uh, um, like, about four years, um, and it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Anyone can do it, you know, but it, some people learn faster than others, but yeah. So first, what you want to, what you want to, what you're going to want to get to start is yarn. And any yarn works. Um, like, I have this yarn, this yarn, but I am probably wouldn't start off with the soft yarn because it's a different texture and it's kind of harder to work with well sometimes um and then you can get needles um i probably would start off with like a smaller type like something like this i probably start off i wouldn't start off with something like this um i the bigger needles are typically easier for some people to use or the smaller ones depends on your preference um these ones are nice um some people also start off with chopsticks. If you don't have any knitting needles around, you can just get some chopsticks, which those are really good to use. Um, these I do not recommend starting with. These are circular needles. Don't start off with those if you're just a beginner. Um, something like this is great to start off with. Um, this is great to start off with. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my wooden needles, so I'm gonna get started. Okay. So you have picked out your yarn and your needles. Oh, also, if you're wondering why my yarn is in a ball, I like to put my yarn into balls because it's easier to use because I feel like when you have it not in a ball, it gets tangled more easily. That's my preference. Um, so to start off, you wanna take a little bit of your yarn, just not a lot, and sorry, I'm not the best at explaining this, but you can watch and I'll try my best. So you take a small strand of your string and you want to make a slip knot. So I make my slip knot like this. You hold it like this and then you make a loop and you, and you grab, so you grab your yarn right here and you just pull. This is a slip knot. Um, other people make their slip knots different way, but that's how I make my slip knot. Then you want to take one of your needles and you want to put it through the slip knot. And this right now, I'm teaching you how to cast on. Because you want to cast on your stitches to be able to start knitting. Because it's how, I think it's the how long it'll be or the width, something like that. So it's on. Then you want to take your other needle and you want to put it through the string, like that hole that you made. And both your needles should be like this. This you don't want to use, so you don't want to like do anything. So you can hold that with your hand. Okay, so you have your needles like this, and then you want to take your yarn and wrap it around your needle. Let me I'll show you that again. Let me take my fingers off. So you have them like, oh, this is hard, like this. Oh wait, I can show you this one like this, and then you wanna go around the back. So around the back, and then you wanna bring the needle right here, and then you wanna pull down, and then you wanna go under, but you wanna keep that yarn right there. And you wanna pull that yarn through and over the top, and then you wanna pull. And then you have your first cast on. Then you want to do that again. And for a beginner, you could do like five or ten of these just to get practicing. So then you want to go like that and then through it. I'll show you one more time. Also, anytime you need to, you can pause the video and watch it. Okay, so we're going to go like this, pull it. So go under, under. behind and then loop under so I'm gonna finish my stitches and then I'll be back 
with you guys in a minute. Okay, so I have my 10 stitches on, and that's what it should look like. Now, this is the part that we're going to be teaching is the knitting. So, this is how you knit. Um, so, how you start knitting is you basically, it's kind of similar to casting on, but a little bit different. Because you want it to go onto this needle. You don't want it on one singular needle. So, you want to take your needle, stick it through, like up through up through the yarn and then the yarn goes behind and through a, like and then you go under but this time we're not going over we're taking it and we're taking it we're taking it off the needle so it should look something like that so I'll do it again you go under around the fence through the fence so I'm gonna say and then under the fence and off the fence. That's the best way I can describe it. So under the fence, around the fence, over the fence, under the fence, and off the fence. So under the fence, I mean, through the fence, around the fence, on under the fence and off so grab it like this then like this then you go like like this So then when you get better at it, you can start going a little bit faster. It's not that complicated. I mean, you can get a little bit faster. Ah! Sometimes you might mess up, but retrying and practicing over and over again is what will help you. It's okay if you mess up. This is what your first one should look like if when you're done. This is what your first row should look like that you've done. So then you can start doing a few more rows. So I'm going to do two rows and then show you what it looks like after those two rows. And I'm not a professional. I mess up all the time. I make mistakes. Um, I would love to learn. I'm not like that good. I can't like make these crazy sweaters. Um, but if you want to try to make a crazy sweater, you can try that. I make other things, but yeah. And also comment down below if you'd like to see any more knitting videos. I can show you how to make a few things, but I'm not the best at it. So this is what my second row, I've done two rows so far, looks like. You can always, at any point during the video, you can pause it, rewind. There's also a button um, that you can um, turn down the speed. So if you want to turn down the speed... That might help. But this is what it looks like. It's looking great. It took me a long try to do this. Um, I also taught, I actually taught myself how to do this by watching a video. But, yeah. Okay, so this is what three rows looks like. Um, 
but that's what it looks like and that's basically how you knit um i can show you some things um once you get once you get better at it or you can learn you can make like it'll look like this this is a regular um stitch um i also have i thought i had it over here but um i also oh yeah you can also um learn how to make these um also if you want me to teach you how to make these comment down below because they're really simple to make um but yeah I can teach you how to make those um also if you want a video on how to make skirt and cheese i can do that but those are some of the things i've made um but thank you guys so much for watching this video please subscribe hit that notification bell and like this video thumbs up this video if you liked it and leave a comment down below if the comment section is there if you want to see another knitting video and what you'd like to see me knit. Um, I'm not the best, so don't ask me to knit a pair of pants or like a sweater. I'm not that good. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And bye!